Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I have a very special guest. I'm going to be glamming on my mom. So if you're a middle-aged gal and you want to get full glam, then please keep on watching. I'll take care of you. I'm going to be starting out with a hydrating setting spray. This is a great step whenever I'm doing makeup on middle-aged skin to just help nourish and moisturize their skin. Next, I'm using my MAC strobe cream and I like to put this right on the high points of her cheekbones and if your client has a lot of wrinkles, you should skip this step. But since my mom has really full cheekbones, I'm going to go in with the strobe cream. Next, I'm using a little bit of a water bomb as well as a Makeup Forever smoothing primer. So I'm putting the water bomb all over her face to really hydrate her skin. This is a really, really important step when you're doing mature skin or middle-aged skin. And then I'm gonna be taking the smoothing primer and I'm gonna put that in her T-zone area to really help fill in her pores and smooth everything out, including the wrinkles on her forehead. So for foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I love this formula for middle-aged skin because it's super, super creamy and it's going to blend out so flawlessly. If I were to do makeup on, say, a grandma, somebody with really mature skin, I would actually take a liquid foundation and mix it in with a moisturizer to thin it down, almost as if it's a BB cream. And that's going to apply so flawlessly on somebody with more mature skin. But since my mom doesn't have that much wrinkles, she's a middle-aged woman, I'm just going to go in with this creamy foundation. For concealer, I'm going to be using my favorite Pure Cosmetics Disappearing Ink Concealer. And when I do concealer on middle-aged women, I like to really thin it out with a little bit of a moisturizer, like I was just saying. So I've already gone ahead and done that. And I'm also applying it with a brush, and I'm really blending it out before I go in with my Beauty Blender so it has a really flawless finish. Whereas if I were doing this on myself, I would just apply it and then go in with a Beauty Blender. But I really want to blend this out so it has a really, really light layer of concealer before I go in with the Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to be using my lovely Pure Cosmetics Camo Contour Sticks. And I know this part may be a little intimidating, but trust me, it's actually super easy once you get the hang of it. So I apply it in a little 3 shape, and then I blend it out with a buffing brush. And I absolutely love using cream products when I'm doing this type of skin. And I try to avoid using shadow products as much as possible. I'm picking up my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I'm just going to quickly contour her nose and really lightly set the cream products that we used. And for blush, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Blush, and this is in the shade Petal Power. And I absolutely love this blush for middle-aged skin because it has a really nice sheen, so it's gonna really make their cheekbones look very full and juicy. For brows, I'm going to be using my ColourPop Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Dope Taupe. And I love to really give my clients really full and defined brows when they are a little bit older. My mom is almost 50 and she doesn't have any Botox, so it's really important to put back those steps to making her face look a lot more youthful. And giving her big, luscious brows will definitely help age her back a few years. I'm using a setting powder to create this sharp edge on the corner of her eye and this is really going to help lift her eyes up. This shape makes your eyes look a lot more open and awake and also it makes them look larger. So I'm first going into a light brown shade and I'm just buffing this into the outer crease of her eye and then I'm going to go in with a tinier brush with a darker brown and I'm really focusing this in the very outer corner of her eye and this is going to pull her eye shape outwards and really elongate it to the temples. And if you're having any trouble with the eyeshadow, if you lift your client's eyebrows up, it'll be a lot easier to buff everything out. I like to really focus the eyeshadow at the lash line so that you still have some intensity and definition at the lash line, but it's not going to settle in her crease. And it's always really, really, really important not to use shimmer on the eyelids because it's going to accentuate the wrinkles. I'm picking up my Inglot Black Gel Liner and I'm just going to pop this right in her lash line. Since she does have blonde hair, that means she has blonde eyelashes. So I want there to be a very dark and defined lash line. And at the outer corner of her eye, I'm just going to start blending and smudging it to really help lift her eyes upwards and really give that definition to the outer corner. I popped on some Ardell Wispy Lashes to complete her eyes and really quickly I'm just going to bronze her up a little bit more to bring some life into her face. 
There's a very fine line on putting shimmer on somebody with middle-aged skin. Since my mom has really nice full cheekbones, I'm adding a touch of highlight right at the top of her cheekbones to really make them look full and luscious. But if your client is a little bit older, I would definitely recommend skipping this step altogether because this definitely will accentuate the wrinkles. But since my mom has really big, luscious cheekbones, I can definitely get away with this for her. Moving on to the lippies, I'm going to be doing a really pretty, luscious nude lip. I'm starting out with lining her lips and I picked a liner shade that's very similar to her natural lip color. And next I'm going to be contouring her lips. Usually when you're younger you have more luscious and full lips. That makes you look more youthful. As you age your lips do tend to shrink and aren't as juicy so I'm really putting some contour to make them look larger and fuller and then I'm going in to this nude lipstick and then I'm going to go into a lip gloss. Adding a lip gloss is really going to attract light to the lips and make your lips look larger, juicier and more pouty. I do like to finish the eyes off with putting a touch of shimmer in the inner tear duct to really help open up the eyes but just be very careful that you don't bring this onto the eyelid because it will accentuate the wrinkles. Here's the finished look. I hope you guys learned something helpful and useful. And of course, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I'll take care of you.